Weekly Artificial Intelligence News Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news AI. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the artificial intelligence universe. From AI-based companies helping identify dark web data leaks and management startups using AI to launch readmit ML pipelines, to creation of data-centric AI communities, AI receiving huge funding, and even AI paving way to hyper-automation in businesses, we have it all and more. So without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right to it. Highlights of the week. How Cybel is helping identify dark web data leaks. Cyber intelligence provider Cybel recently announced that it had raised $10 million to expand its product roadmap and advance the analysis capabilities of Cybel Research Labs, CRL. Cybel uses AI and machine learning to analyze the dark and surface webs in real time and to identify if an enterprise's login credentials are exposed online. To date, it says it's scanned over 200 billion dark web records, 50 billion threat indicators, and 400 million digital assets. This is designed to enable enterprises and technical decision makers to manage their digital risk footprint and pinpoint sensitive data that's exposed online, so they can react and protect their organization before a major security breach. The announcement comes as the number of login credentials exposed on the dark web increases, with the number of corporate passwords leaked on the dark web increasing by 429% since March of 2021, and the average organization having up to 17 login credentials available on the dark web. Identifying and remediating data breaches quickly is something few enterprises have achieved. On average, it takes a company 287 days to identify and contain a data breach, which gives an attacker plenty of time to locate and steal high-value data. A significant number of breaches are caused by hackers, harvesting login credentials and then selling them to the highest bidder, who are often organization cyber criminals like ransomware gangs. That means companies that have the capability to detect data leaks on the dark web have a valuable heads up that they can use to protect their environment before an attacker can use that data to maximum effect. AI lifecycle management startup launches ready-made ML pipelines. CNVRG.io, the Intel-owned startup that offers a full-stack platform to help enterprises manage AI models and build auto-adaptive machine learning pipelines, has announced an open-source suite of ready-to-use ML pipelines. Officially dubbed AI Blueprints, the library brings a curated collection of verified ML model APIs and customizable pipelines, with data connectors and deployment options focused on easy integration between data sources and targets. According to the company, the library's components can run on any infrastructure, enabling software developers to quickly create enhanced AI applications aimed at solving business or product problems. For instance, a developer could leverage AI blueprints to apply sales forecasting directly on Salesforce data or perform text classification on their Snowflake data warehouse. They get the option to use the pipeline as is or modify it to fit their specific needs. CNVRG.io claims to have built the entire AI Blueprints offering, considering the bottlenecks and engineering challenges that come up while putting ML in production. At the core, the library is powered by the company's cloud-native AI platform, CNVRG MetaCloud, but the job of driving the library and growing it rests on the community of developers. Currently, CNVRG.io said, the library hosts over 100 components for dozens of AI use cases but the number is expected to grow as more and more organizations host their repository of blueprints to democratize their work. Why Data Launches Data-Centric AI Community Chief data officers, data scientists, and data analysts of all stripes may be interested in a new AI support and information community that's been debuted recently. That special interest group is the idea of a startup, Why Data, a self-described data-centric AI community that created what it claims is the first development platform for data quality to accelerate the development of AI solutions. The new company aims to break down barriers for data science teams, researchers, and beginners to create a, quote, friendly place where data quality issues are discussed and solved. CEO and founder Gonzalo Martins Ribeiro told VentureBeat via email. Seattle-based Wide Data is free of charge, for-profit organization of open-source enthusiasts and community builders. The company's business model is to sell enterprise support on top of the open-source-based tools that it gives to the community, Ribeiro said. Wide Data's development platform follows a data-centric mindset, 
by bringing together the major data science frameworks with proprietary tools for data access and profiling, synthetic data generation, and labeling to deliver better data quality for AI. Higher data quality means fewer errors, biases, and a representative data set that ensures that AI is built responsibly. Organizations have already adopted the company's technology in the financial services, utilities, and telecom sectors, Ribeiro said. 70% of orgs spending $1 million or more on AI. According to a new report by LXT, artificial intelligence spending is strong at mid to large US organizations and 40% rate themselves at the three highest levels of AI maturity, having already achieved operational to transformative implementations. A key component to success across all organizations is AI training data in terms of both quality and investment. The survey found that over a third of high revenue companies are spending between $51 million to $100 million on AI and 7 in 10 organizations are spending $1 million or more of their budget on AI. Enterprises are using AI to innovate, scale up, and drive competitive advantage as well as gain internal efficiencies. As part of a survey, executives placed their companies on the Gartner AI maturity model. According to the results, more than 40% of organizations have reached high levels of maturity, from operational AI in production, creating value, to transformational. AI is part of business DNA status. To get there, a quarter of maturing organizations are spending $51 million or more on AI, compared to just 8% of experimenters. Mature organizations report that quality training data is the most important contributor to the success of their AI strategies. When asked about the benefits experienced as a result of high-quality training data, companies that are earlier in their AI journey see efficiency and agility gains, while more mature organizations report accelerated time to market and improved competitive advantage. Facilio, developer of AI-powered property management software, nabs $35 million. As the pandemic-induced demand for real estate accelerates, large property managers are boosting their investments in digital technologies to help manage their various buildings. Even pre-pandemic, 95% of real estate companies had someone responsible for running point on digital transformation and innovation efforts, according to a 2019 KPMG survey. Most cite the need for improved efficiencies, cost reductions, enhanced decision-making, and better asset management. The same survey found that hurdles stand in the way of adoption. However, including unclear return on investment, a lack of a designated person to drive the strategy, and a shortage of in-house talent. To help tackle the challenges, some real estate companies are looking to outside firms, like New York-based property operations software developer Facilio. Ahead of future growth, Facilio today announced that it raised $35 million in Series B financing led by Dragoneer Investment Group with participation from Brookfield Growth, Excel India, and Tiger Global Management. Founded in 2017, Facilio offers a platform for commercial, corporate enterprise, healthcare, and retail properties that leverage AI to analyze data from disparate systems. The company's suite of applications target maintenance, operational visibility, sustainability, and remote equipment performance monitoring use cases. Running APIs side-by-side -side with AI paves way to hyper-automation. For business, time and money are precious commodities. The rise of application programming interface, better known as APIs, has streamlined business operations and created a better customer experience. This kind of automation saves businesses both time and money, but also provides valuable data and an improved user experience. From chatbots to checkouts, APIs have become a critical part of running a business in a digital world. Yet, while technology has brought millions of applications to the market built to help businesses improve their operations, the problem is that they often must use three to five APIs separately yet together to get the information and process flow they need for their business. Building custom APIs can be costly. Running existing APIs side by side, instead, can cut costs while catapulting automation and reducing inefficiencies but it does require a critical missing piece, artificial intelligence. Beyond saving time and money and providing a customer experience that delights, the advantages for businesses in using AI-driven APIs are powerful on multiple fronts. And we're just on the horizon of what's possible. Today, retailers and restaurants can combine AI with APIs to follow online sentiment and better track customer reviews for key operational and performance data. When it comes to building applications that accept visual, language, or speech inputs, AI is an effective tool for deploying and orchestrating multiple APIs for the best information and experience. For instance, an e-commerce application could translate product catalogs into multiple languages, allow customers to listen to product reviews, and also share personalized recommendations. 
With that, we come to the end of our weekly updates. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join in next week for more of such exciting updates.